The U.S. Navy christened its newest amphibious transport dock, the future USS Fort Lauderdale LPD-28, during a ceremony at the Huntington Ingalls Industries HII, Ingalls Division Shipyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi. The Fort Lauderdale is the 12th San Antonio-class ship. It's the first ship to be named for the city of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Viewers may note that the San Antonio class is a class of amphibious transport docks, also called a Landing Platform Dock, or LPD. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why USS Fort Lauderdale will be an excellent addition to the U.S. Navy. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Ingalls Shipbuilding launched the future USS Fort Lauderdale LPD-28 in April 2020. USS Fort Lauderdale will be capable of transporting U.S. Marines, amphibious vehicles, conventional landing craft, and rotary aircraft. This means it has the capabilities to support amphibious assault, special operations, or expeditionary warfare missions. USS Fort Lauderdale would provide a high-quality command and control capability and improved interoperability between U.S. forces and partners in the region. The San Antonio class was designed to provide the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps with a modern, sea-based platform that's networked, survivable, and built to operate with 21st century transformational platforms such as the MV-22 Osprey. The San Antonio class has significant survivability features, and the class was designed to minimize radar signature, which makes it hard to detect and track. The class has a hardened structure so that it can absorb shocks and has improved nuclear blast and fragmentation protection. USS Fort Lauderdale, like other vessels of this class, is fitted with the Integrated Ship Self-Defense System SSDS. The system fuses the radars and other sensors and controls the weapon systems for an automated fast reaction capability against air threats. The Advanced Enclosed Mast Sensors AEM -S, System Mast, a 93-foot high octagonal structure 35 feet in diameter, is constructed of a multi-layer frequency selective composite material. It's designed to permit the ship's own sensor frequencies with very low loss while reflecting other frequencies. The tapered octagonal shape of the AEM-S is designed to reduce the radar cross-section, and enclosing the antennas provides improved performance and greatly reduces maintenance costs. USS Fort Lauderdale possesses multiple weapons for self-defense. It's equipped with two Bushmaster II 30mm close-in guns, the gun has a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute and an effective range of 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers. It has two rolling airframe missile launchers. RIM-116 rolling airframe missile RAM, is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface to air missile. It has an operational range of 9 kilometers or 5.6 miles. There are two Mark 41 8 cell VLS for quad packed ESSMs. RIM 162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile ESSM, is used to protect ships from attacking missiles and aircraft. 
It has a range of 31 miles or 50 kilometers. Several twin M2 Browning machine gun turrets are also present. Osprey will be a key component of the warship. USS Fort Lauderdale would be able to launch or land up to two MV-22 Osprey simultaneously and can accommodate four MV-22s on the flight deck and one in the hangar deck. The Osprey is an American multi-mission tilt-rotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and short takeoff and landing STOL capabilities. It's designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range, high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. It was designed after the failure of Operation Eagle Claw during the Iran hostage crisis in 1980, which underlined the requirement for a new long-range, high-speed, vertical takeoff aircraft. For takeoff and landing, it typically operates as a helicopter with the nacelles in vertical and rotors in horizontal position. Once airborne, the nacelles rotate forward 90 degrees in as little as 12 seconds for horizontal flight. Converting the Osprey to a more fuel-efficient, higher-speed turboprop aircraft. STOL rolling takeoff and landing capability is achieved by having the nacelles tilted forward up to 45 degrees. It has an operational range of 1,265 miles or 2,037 kilometers. The Ospreys can be armed with one 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO M240 machine gun or 50 caliber M2 machine gun. It has a maximum speed of 509 kilometers per hour or 316 miles per hour at sea level and 565 kilometers per hour or 351 miles per hour at 15,000 feet. Osprey can accommodate 24 troops seated and 32 troops floor loaded. So V2 Osprey could be used to carry special ops personnel. Apart from the general capabilities, the ability of the USS Fort Lauderdale to deploy special forces adds another important dimension. Special forces operatives can take on many different types of missions, including intelligence gathering, which could be used as a base to plan for a tactical undertaking. It remains to be seen how or where USS Fort Lauderdale will be deployed and exactly what mission it will be tasked with. But there's no doubt the addition of USS Fort Lauderdale will definitely add a tactical edge. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.